district. The unions in Berks County, the unions in Montgomery County, the unions in Chester County. Because we're mad. We're mad at him for voting against this bill. We're mad at him for first trying to weaken the bill, and then after successfully being part of the cabal that weakened the bill, then he still voted against it. It's a dirty trick, it's underhanded, and that's what he did. I'm particularly glad to be here, and I want to thank Phyla, and I will tell Michael what a great job you've done here today. <laughs> But I want to particularly, I'm glad to be here, because I'm glad to be here in front of Jim Gerlach's office. Because I'm going to tell you something. We've spent, excuse me, the last six months beating up on Democrats. We've been beating up on Democrats because we thought we might be able to get their vote. But you know what? These guys are responsible too. They have a vote. People elected them to represent their district, not to represent the Republican Party in Washington, D.C. And Jim Gerlach, with his vote on Saturday, voted not to represent the people of this district, not to represent the working families, not to representing the working poor, the working class, the middle class, small business. He voted to represent the Republican Party and the ideals of George W. Bush. And he should be called account for that. And that's why I'm glad to be here. I could have been anywhere today. <laughs> I chose to come here because Jim Gerlach has to know that we are holding him accountable. We're no longer, you know, this is no longer just legislative. Can we get to vote? Can we not? This is political. This is an exercise of our political will. We have a chance. We have a chance this year to pass historic legislation. No, it's not going to be single payer. No, it's not going to be Medicare for all. But it is going to be legislation that is going to give millions of working Americans and unemployed an opportunity to get life saving health care. And we of the union movement, the men and women of the AFL-CIO, support this. We already have insurance. We already were proud of the insurance and the health care that we provide our members. But we're here for two reasons. One, it is the right thing to do. And we are on the side of angels. All of us here are on the side of angels. And two, we want to keep our health insurance. People say, just one point, well, if we have the public option, my employer will drop my health insurance plan and I'll be stuck in the public option. Well, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Right now, more working Pennsylvanians are losing their employer-based health care than in any state other than Michigan. Here, here. Thousands of people a month are losing their employer-based health care because their employer decided they're not worth it. And where do they go now? They go nowhere. They are S-O-L. There's no public option for them to go to. There's no law that says they can't be refused insurance because of exist existing conditions. There's no exchange where they can go and shop for the cheapest rates possible. So that's why we need this bill. Is it a perfect bill? No. But is it a bill that's going to help millions of people and is passable this year? Yes. yes. And that's what we have to do. That's our goal. And we have to let Jim Gerlach know that we are going to hold him responsible for his vote. He can't hide behind the party leaders in, 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 in Washington, D.C. He has to come back to Coachville. He has to come back to Trooper. And he has to come back to Reading to answer to his constituents. Thank you very much.